Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Meraki Monday. I'm Bobby Young, and with me, as always, is Dan Stewart. Uh, today, we're going to be kind of stepping back from more of kind of an engineering, you know, demonstration of kind of features that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Um, and we have gotten some recent callouts from partners on just, just kind of how to give a good demo, some of the resources available, um, and maybe some kind of walkthrough on, you know, how to actually demonstrate you know, some of these products. So Dan and I kind of talked about it and we um, we thought it might be a good video to uh, really kind of go through some of the different resources that are available when it comes to giving a demo. Um, and then Dan is actually gonna kind of walk through how we give our demos. Uh, Dan and I probably have, uh, man, I would I'd probably say collectively maybe three or 400 demos at least, <laughs> probably checkboxed in the last couple of years, um, just when it comes to Meraki. So um, we're familiar with kind of what um, some of the end users that we talk to like to see, uh, but we'll also notate some of the different changes that we make depending on those, uh, you know, what those end users are. Um, so first thing I'd like to do is uh, talk to you just about, um, you know, some of the different resources that are available. Um, the first being getting your own NFR set up, right? So if you want full control over the demonstrations that you give, if you know that this is going to be a long-term thing, you guys are going to be busting these out just constantly, I would suggest getting an NFR setup, right? Getting a lab set up with your own gear. Um, at the very least, try to get one of everything. Um, if you can utilize Meraki for your own, um, you know, branch offices or your own business, that's even better because then you kind of, you know, get to use it and actually use it in a production environment more often. Um, but the not for resale discount uh, that you would be able to get uh, is available on Meraki gear, just as, as it is on Cisco, something you'd create in CCW. Uh, and if you need help with that, uh, we actually have some documentation as well as resources within Ingram uh, that can help you build out that estimate. Uh, we can kind of go through maybe some, you know, some features and what you might need from a licensing perspective, uh, and then help you through that registration process so you can get those, uh, those major discounts. Yeah, I just kind of walked through a brief uh, move from our office organization that we do a lot of our demonstrations because it has that full stack over to actually my house. I'm actually running Meraki at home, and this does a good job to really get your time with the system, right? Because you don't want unhappy family members on your wireless, your network, and you, you want to definitely play with some of those controls of content filtering and different things you can do, which is always nice in a home environment before you maybe roll that out into your uh, full production mode. So my environments you see here is not always the latest and greatest gear, but it does the job and helps us, you know, learn the dashboard and learn the licensing and applying that in and kind of was actually one of my first uh, tastes of Meraki um, was getting the lab gear, getting it installed at my house, understanding how that was applied. And you can see my, you know, small, modest environment here of one firewall, one switch, one access point. But that, you know, started my journey, right? And you take those best practices, you learn a lot along the way, you break certain things, but it's better to do that in a, you know, somewhat controlled environment than you would do when you apply to something more, um, public or um, in a actual production uh, mode in a business setting. So I like using my house as an option. Um, definitely shows a lot of organizations, which is great, um, but it shows that even a modest Meraki environment still retains all that feature function you're looking for. And, and, a, and a great point, um, depending on when you are viewing this video, uh, I can't promise that when you're viewing it that the programs are still in place, but um, uh, Meraki had a program called CMNA uh, where they actually gave out free gear. Uh, if you'll notice that if you've ever worked with Meraki, they are huge on getting that product in the hands of the people who would like to buy it, whether it's through the, um, uh, you know, the free AP uh, for going to one of their, their webinars program, uh, whether it's through a, um, uh, you know, getting them a, a demo or a trial set up through the, the, uh, the Meraki Partners uh, website. Um, but basically the idea, and they have absolutely the, the statistics to show it, uh, they're finding that those who have the product in hand are just much more likely to buy more in the future um, than those who have never actually, you know, kind of played around with the product as we do now. 
Um, so that said, the demo is very, very important in that sales cycle in the sense that this is where that aha moment comes in. Um, this is where Meraki really, really shines. And we want to make sure that that a demonstration, whether through yourself or whether utilizing our resources in Ingram, um, is part of that sales cycle um, because that's where people are going to really look at it and see the actual value, see the features of the, uh, the Meraki platform. So we have the NFR option. Again, full compatibility, full customization. You get to use it yourself. Um, definitely, again, um, you know, make sure that it does have some traffic running through it. Um, so, so our best bet is, again, as Dan said, either getting a free setup to, to use as your house um, or to actually use it as your production gear within your company um, so that you can actually you know, set it up and play around with it and see, you know, see what the features are from there. Um, that's the first option. The second option is to use something called dCloud. Uh, we've mentioned it once or twice in some previous videos, but we'll kind of go through it again just from a Meraki perspective. Um, dCloud is a, a full demonstration library that is completely run and supported through Cisco. Um, so what this is from a metaphor perspective is, is kind of like if you've ever used like HelloFresh or Blue Apron, um, they basically, it's a service where they give you all of the ingredients to make a meal they give you the recipe to make a meal and they basically package it up and give it to you and say, great, there you go. There's your meal. You just have to do a little bit of legwork on the background, but everything's kind of set up for you, right? Everything's pre-portioned and everything's good to go. dCloud does that, um, but from kind of an architecture or a, a, a solution perspective for everything Cisco, not just Meraki, but all of these Cisco solutions as well. They've definitely grown like crazy over the last couple of years. We were actually very, very heavily involved in their beta program. I want to say maybe oh, six or seven years ago, they had four demos. They had one for each architecture, you know, a security demo, a collaboration demo. Now they have, you know, I, probably 10 different you know, solution demos just for Meraki. Uh, one of them being a kind of a, a, not really a sandbox, but kind of like it's called an instant demo. So uh, Dan is taking a look at what we can actually kind of view in this library. He's checking on Meraki, and then on the top, he can check instant demo. The other demos that are available, some of them actually have some stuff that needs to be spun up in the background. So virtual machines and whatnot, sometimes you have to schedule these things. So, so some of the kind of more in-depth demonstrations um, do require you to kind of schedule out uh, a little bit further. Um, sometimes they take, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to kind of spin up. Um, so it's not something you can just go here real quick and then, you know, with the customer on the phone, just spin this up. The instant demos are just that. Uh, they're 100% up and running. Um, all you really need to do is, is, you know, log in and you're good to go. So let's take a look at, uh, if you scroll all the way down, uh, you notice that there's ones that are specific for SD-WAN, ones that had, you know, are, are kind of like for, you know, different types of solutions. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Meraki SD-WAN V2 for partners. What I'd like to show is on this page, the related documents. And you can click that either with the, the, the link to, to what he saw right there or just going to the resources tab. And notice in this case, we have a demo overview video that's actually kind of a video presentation of, you know, hey, this is what you can expect with, you know, kind of a standard demo. Um, but in this case, let's take a look at the demo guide because that is, again, that recipe card that you would get in with that Blue Apron package, right? So we have all the ingredients. All the ingredients are, are set up for you. The dashboard's up and running. Everything is good to go. Um, this is the recipe on basically how to, you know, make that meal, or in this case, how to give that demo. Um, it tells you a little bit about the solution. It tells you the requirements. Um, for Meraki, most of the requirements are just that you just need to have a browser set up. You know, sometimes it just has a laptop with an internet connection and you're good to go. Um, and then it'll say about this solution and kind of give you a little bit of an overview. Scrolling down, it kind of usually gives you a topology of what everything looks like. And again, this is where we have to kind of step back and really, really appreciate the value that dCloud has. For you to set this up in your own environment as an NFR, um, especially just showing off like, you know, one demonstration for, for SD-WAN uh, would take you a very long time and take you a really good amount of money. Um, so the fact that they have this completely set up for you is amazing. It's awesome. It's completely 24-7 available. 
if you do have issues, dCloud even actually has their own support line that you can actually, it's a chat line that you can call out to, to say, hey, I'm having issues with, you know, logging into this demo or whatever. Um, but this is a really good kind of overview of everything that's just for this one demo. Um, so they have some really cool things. It, it, this is an SD-WAN demo. So they even have like an appliance set up that just introduces latency at, at random times to, to be able to actually, you know, show, um, you know, a WAN connection moving from one over to the other. Um, so it's it's really cool kind of having all this set up. And then if you, as you scroll down, it kind of, again, tells you on the left-hand side, the dialogue of what to say. The right-hand side tells you what you should be clicking on as you do it. Um, as with all demos, 100% recommend going this at least maybe five times internally with your team, just so that you're not doing this for the first time, right? It's like, it's like making a, um, you know, a, a new recipe for Valentine's Day, you know, with a, with a, a new person that you're, that you're with, right? You want to kind of practice that menu first. You don't want to, you know, be doing like, um, you know, beef Wellington for the first time that night, because if you screw up, you screw up. So um, this again, you know, a great page to, to go over this. They have SD-WAN, they have other features as well. Um, the downside to this is that this is basically read-only. So if if, uh, if Dan were to log into the dashboard, it'll show you all those really cool things, you know, 10 different switches and all these different access points and, you know, traffic running through it, but it's read-only. You can't change any of those parameters. So if you want to give a demo that's a little bit more uh, a little bit more customized to the end user and maybe their vertical, probably something you just won't be able to, to uh, you know, to, to, to customize it as much. The third option would be kind of a hybrid of both. Uh, and that's actually utilizing our resources at Ingram Micro, so our business transformation center, uh, to be able to use Dan and his team to provide either the resources for the demo or actually help you give the demo ourselves. Um, so Dan, as well as myself and the other engineers in the, the Business Transformation Center would use, um, you know, our demo pods uh, to be able to kind of showcase, you know, whatever your, your demonstration is. We could have a conversation beforehand. So if there's a specific vertical that you're looking into, we can kind of tweak our demo a little bit or even kind of do proofs of concepts uh, to be able to, you know, have a, a, a group policy called teachers and one called students, right? So as we're demoing it, we can actually kind of, um, let them lead that day in the life conversation a little bit easier. Dan, anything to add for the for the BTC and kind of your your utilization? Yeah, I just you know kind of echo exactly what Bobby said there is that you know with the ability for us to spend the hands-on time with the equipment in our kind of production kind of lab environment, you know we get to test out actually install the equipment go through the trials and and challenges you get of going from the actual you know ordering receiving the shipment unboxing it putting it in place configuring it doing the licensing and then going in and actually uh, achieving the outcome you desire that type of experience is something that you just wouldn't get from the always on D cloud instance. Like they've done all of the racking and stacking and cabling and all the different um, planning phase, which is a huge portion of your time with any solution that you deal with that our time with that component, we've, we've done that, right? We've walked the walk to get to the outcome of getting to the dashboard to enable it to do certain things. And, you know, that goes a long way to helping to explain any type of issues or challenges we might have seen. And we can share that information, you know, with you and our customers about some of those things that we've, we've gone through. Um, and, you know, we're flexible to add different components. We can do uh, the multi-architecture solutioning. Uh, and then even with our different vertical-based um, development rooms that we have across our physical campus at Ingram Micro, uh, we can put these technologies into really a working solution, tying it sometimes with other vendors in the ecosystem to customize, you know, what do you want to achieve and let's get the right products to do that. And yeah, Meraki will probably be a good chunk of that and, and a lot of focus, but there may be some elements that we want to uh, talk into where we have to go um, beyond that. And our system setup allows us to do exactly that. Right, right. Yeah, definitely a business outcomes led approach that we take here at Ingram. 
Well, I think that's a great place to stop this video for now and get us on our journey to look at the next phase of really how to give that great 10 to 15 minute demo using Meraki as your launch pad into customer engagements. So for now, on behalf of Bobby and myself, we thank you for watching and hope you'll tune in next time to our Meraki Mondays. Thanks everyone.